show chapters hedge fund veterans says the bear market has arrived. Here's where you want to hide out 5.26 p.m. Eastern Time Friday. The 21st of December 2018 5.40 investors will have a hard time finding a place to hide should the S&P 500 keep trading in bear market territory. If history is any indication, a CNBC analysis using Ken Show found that all 11 S&P 500 sectors averaged steep losses after the broad index plunges 20% or more in a six-month period. The analysis also shows 10 of those sectors averaged losses of at least 16%. The financials, technology and industrial sectors all averaged losses of at least 30% in the six months. After the S&P 500's drop, the consumer staples sector is the relative outperformer during these sell-offs, averaging a decline of 6.08%. The S&P 500 entered Wednesday's session in a bear market, down 20.06% from an all-time intraday high set on Sept. 21 amid ongoing turmoil in Washington. Stocks entered bear market territory on Monday after the worst Christmas Eve sell-off in history. President Donald Trump went after the Federal Reserve once again on Monday, calling it the only problem our economy has in a tweet. Trump also said the central bank does not have a feel for the market. Tweet multiple reports also surfaced last week claiming Trump was considering firing Fed Chairman Jerome Powell. Show Chapters Market Bull Ed Yardini predicts a 2019 to remember one hour ago, 418. Trump's tweet and the reports of Powell's possible firing came as several parts of the federal government shut down over funding for a wall along the U.S.-Mexico border. The Trump administration says the wall is crucial to national security while opponents of the Barrier claim it will not solve the country's immigration problems. Meanwhile, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin held calls with the leaders of the six largest U.S. banks in an attempt to reassure investors that the economy and financial markets were in good shape. This failed to quell investor fears. However, as the S&P 500 dropped 2.7% Monday, subscribe to CNBC on YouTube.